We are your family of light. Written by Earth Ally, Will. Change is upon us. Though change has always been here, it's making itself much more obvious now. The planet is shifting. The climate is being altered. Sea levels are rising. Ice caps are melting. And the entire ecosystem is constantly adjusting itself. Socially, people are fed up with corporate greed and the governments that protect the corporations at the expense of the people. People are hungry for a break from the dysfunctional systems of the past. An African-American man is president of a country that barely treated his race as human just a couple of generations ago. Countries are coming clean about their suppression of information regarding UFOs. And it's now to the point that only the willfully ignorant can convince themselves nothing is going on. Now, I'm going to go into some stuff that isn't so widely accepted as what I've mentioned above. There's levels of existence that are only beginning to dawn on humanity's consciousness. Knowledge of these has been around since humanity arrived on planet Earth, but this knowledge has been heavily suppressed. Religions have destroyed and twisted the information and kept just enough to bait the hook. They knew that if people were conscious of the higher realms, then religions would be toast. Nobody would just sit there and listen to some guy preach about hell while the experience of heaven is all around them. The religions were able to hold back the information for thousands of years, but that's not working anymore. People have been spiritually starving for so long, the meager scraps the religions provide no longer satisfy. The higher realms are the basis of this reality, though currently people have trouble seeing anything beyond the illusion. The higher realms are where the energy is, and without their support, the physical plane wouldn't even be a hologram. Everything you experience in the physical is only an expression of the higher realms, though it's impossible to see this from within the illusion. The illusion denies the higher realms, putting them outside of the self and hence outside of your experience. This is why there's so much talk spiritually about the present moment. Your connection to the higher realms is now. You experience the higher realms in the moment you snap out of the illusionary past and future. Just relax and be with yourself for a while. Struggling against something that doesn't even exist is a fool's errand. You exist in the higher realms. You're here, right now, in fact. The changes manifesting on the planet originate in the higher realms, which are in no way separate from you. Everything is connected in higher thought, and this means that you are a part of everything. These subtle and not so subtle feelings are your unique experience of creation. Love and equality are the way things function in the upper realms. These are the truth of your being. Human beings aren't meant to be separate from love, and maintaining this illusion is extremely hard on you. Everybody wants real love, though in illusion they've forgotten what real love even is. When I say love, I mean truth, joy, peace, and God. 
I mean, the, the feelings of amazement everyone experiences at least sometimes in their life. If you pay, pay close attention, you'll notice these are the moments that you're present. Since we're all from the higher realms, we are all a part of the family of light. We're all higher dimensional beings. The ascended masters are no more amazing than any other being on planet Earth. You are equal to God because you are God. God is everything, while illusion is nothing. If you haven't found God, it's because you haven't really found yourself. The Christian religion gives ten commandments to follow if you want to be with God. Jesus gave only two. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. He added that these were both equally important. Why would loving yourself, your neighbor, and God all be equally important? because you're all the same. Unconditional love and acceptance of self is the way out of illusion. Being real with yourself is how you transcend the lies. Your family of light hasn't forgotten about you. We're here with you right now. We've never left your side. The kingdom of heaven has always been here too. People just haven't been able to see it. They've been looking through the glasses of illusion, seeing everything as isolate and separate, primarily themselves. Look inside your heart. Is it separate from anything? Your heart is the center of your being, the truth of who you really are. Your heart cannot lie to you. It doesn't even know how. Your family of light is here. And this includes the angels, your higher selves, the multidimensionals, the celestials, and mother and father God. They're already with you in the higher realms. And they're here with you in the physical manifest too. Did you believe they were separate? and couldn't come into this manifest? Or perhaps that they were somehow better than those in the lower realms and wouldn't deem to come down here with you? I'll say it again. There is no separation. Your family of light doesn't want you to suffer any more than you already do. The whole universe loves you. But you have to deem yourself worthy of receiving love before you can see this. This is why it's so important to begin first loving yourself. Find love within yourself first, and then you'll have love to give to others. If you look for love outside of yourself, you will only feel empty. Love starts from within and because you aren't separate from anything, expands outward from there. Your family of light isn't here to save you. Mother and Father God didn't incarnate here to make you dependent upon them. Your family of light is here to assist you in remembering the love called God you already are. If you're already God, why would you possibly need saving? You don't. You just simply need to realize you've been an illusion and choose to awaken from it. Let go of your attachments. They're what keeps you stuck in the illusion. You're already connected to everything at the deepest level of your being. Attachments only keep you chained to illusion. Facing your attachments is how you save yourself. You face your emotions, 
you face your fears, and realize the real you is so much more than your illusionary limitations. If someone else were to do the work for you, they'd be doing you a great disservice. You can't realize your, no your own independence by being dependent upon another. Moving through your illusions is how you prove to yourself the truth of the love you are. Your religions only told you your salvation was external to keep you dependent upon them. They told you this lie to keep you slaves and to prevent you from even attempting to save yourself. If religions produced salvation, it would have worked by now. It's time to move beyond the lies of religion and regain the individual and indivisible sovereignty of the truth we all are. This is the change that is now occurring. Humanity is stepping out of illusion and the societies and systems based upon these lies are crashing down. This is a very good thing. If you want to make an omelet, you've got to break a few eggs. Don't be too concerned with all the external events. Focus your attention on your own evolution. Those who want to control you want you to fear the changes that are now upon us. This is the main function of your television and news. For the most part, they focus upon the most dreary and the most miserable things they can find. They're far more concerned with death and destruction than with real life and growth. Don't feed any of your energy into such negative nonsense. Focus upon the good inside of yourself and others. You've been told that you can't make a change, but this is a horrendous lie. Many of your governments are based upon the truth of our equality. This is the reality of the situation. Everyone can make a change, and everyone is the change. Change is the truth of your being. Your stepping out of illusion is a priceless event, worth more to the all than all the money in the banks across this planet. Love from your family of light, from Mother and Father God, love from every awakened being in this universe, Love is the truth, love is God, and love is you. And transmission and all love is, love will.